on a 10-day safari adventure in Uganda. We tracked chimpanzees in Kabali, saw elephants, hippos, and lions in Queen Elizabeth, and tracked mountain gorillas in Bwindi. In the last episode, we got to observe chimpanzees up close. In this episode, we're heading to Queen... Wait! Wait! <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Okay, now we're heading to Queen Elizabeth Park. These are all dirt roads here. The rain can cause deep ruts in the road. We passed some cars that couldn't make it through this, but our Jeep has four-wheel drive, and our tour guide, Robert, did a great job getting through some sketchy spots along our two-hour drive. During the rainy season, it would be a lot worse. We're visiting during the dry season, which is better for viewing wildlife because they gather at the rivers and the ponds. This area is a wide open savanna. We saw antelope, elephants, buffalo, hippos, and warthogs. We arrived at our next lodge for a two-night stay. The lodge was beautiful with a nice bar, dining area inside and out. Our cottage was very spacious, nice beds with mosquito netting, a cozy sitting area, beautiful large bathroom with a tub and a shower, and a large veranda with seating outside. Staff was really friendly. One of the girls did wake up calls singing, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. The food and drinks were great. We saw two female lions in a candelabra tree. Vehicles must stay on the dirt roads in the park. Only when lion tracking with a researcher can you drive off-road. Queen Elizabeth National Park was founded in 1952 and was called Kazinga National Park. It was renamed two years later when Queen Elizabeth visited. We went to this safari lodge on the Kazinga Channel for lunch. They had some cute landscapers keeping the lawn well-groomed. It's funny to see how warthogs kneel down to eat the grass. They also use their snouts and tusks to dig for bulbs and roots. The lodge is high up on a cliff, overlooking the waterway that is filled with wildlife. We had a tasty lunch and then headed down to the jetty for a two-hour boat ride. We saw Nile crocodiles, pot of hippos, cape buffalo. Buffalo and hippos have a symbiotic relationship with birds. These egrets eat the bugs and flies off their backs, 
so they help each other and get along. We saw a lot of butterflies, another baboon, There are more than a thousand different bird species in Uganda. We got to see so many elephants eating, drinking, and playing at the water's edge. On our way back to our hotel, we saw more elephants. This guy was cute and playful. Lion tracking starts early in the morning. You need a permit and a guide. We saw these two lions before we even picked up our guide. Our research guide came along with us in our safari jeep. Radio collars are placed on the dominant lion in each pride. The collars transmit a signal that the researcher picks up with a handheld device that connects to a directional antenna. The range is about five kilometers. Collaring is an effective way to track lion movement and avoid human-wildlife conflict. This old couple were just looking for some shade. There are several programs that help to protect lions and compensate the community for any livestock that get killed by these predators. The programs are helping to protect lions whose numbers have been declining. We saw a fresh kill near this lioness with her four cubs. They were so cute. We saw two female lions in a tree. They stay cooler on hot days up in the branches of the candelabra tree.
We also got to see a leopard in a tree. Leopards are solitary animals. Their spots are called rosettes. It was crazy to get so close to this beautiful little kitty. Then we headed to our next lodge. This one is really cool. This camp is on a river in the wilderness with wildlife everywhere. The staff escort you to your individual glamping tent. We were told not to venture out at night without being escorted. The tents actually have a solid structure. Inside it was furnished nicely and had a comfortable bed, a desk area, a great bathroom with a rain shower. The staff was great. We really enjoyed the food and drinks. They even gave us a nightcap in our room after dinner. From our back porch, we watched the wildlife show. Beginning with Cape Buffalo resting below our patio, we heard hippos splashing in the river, and then trees started getting knocked down as the elephants came out to eat and drink at the river's edge. This place was amazing. If you ever go to Uganda, you have to check out this place. The sounds were really soothing. The animal calls and jungle sounds along with the babbling river made it really easy to fall asleep. We loved it here, it was unbelievable. Next, we drive to Gwindi Impenetrable Forest to track the endangered mountain gorillas. Please subscribe to see all of our travel tours, tips, and reviews. Cheers!